We step back to the fall of 2009 now for our last feature story today. We revisit Terry Owen of Wiggins, the 2009 Mississippi Forestry Association Outstanding Logger of the Year. He owns Owen Brothers Logging. If you think having high production and multiple logging crews are a prerequisite to winning this honor, think again. They only have one three-man crew in the woods, and the emphasis is on safety and doing a quality job for the landowner, not on high production. Well, it's turned out to be the perfect prescription when recession hit. Our story takes us to northern Hancock County, less than 30 miles from the Gulf of Mexico. Like many loggers, Terry Owen on the right and Jim Ed Owen on the left learn their craft from their dad, Walt Owen, who is standing in the center between them. Terry and Jim Ed left their dad and uncle's company and formed their own logging operation in May 1998. From the beginning, the brothers shared a different philosophy than their dad about logging. It was about having a life outside of the woods. The Owen brothers started small and have remained small on purpose. A local timber buyer they have worked with from the beginning also saw a good reason to cut fewer trees and have a shorter work day. Well, we came from a, a high production operation, Owen Logging. I run a crew, we were getting 12, 14 loads a day. My little brother run a crew and they were doing basically the same thing. And we went to work with Glenn and you know, he didn't want a, a, a high production operation. And coming up, my family, my dad, you know, he was always working, never had time to come see a ball game. And so, you know, I didn't want to be like that for my family. I saw where quality of work meant a whole lot of repeat business. So we talked, we discussed it, we kicked it around and decided about six load a day, three man crew is where you need to be. In days when the mills are open longer hours or need more wood, you can up it. But uh, also in hard times and quotas and slow times, you can get by. So it's all about repeat business and the quality of work that brings the repeat business. In other words, lower production can result in a better job, which can in turn bring repeat business. Timber buyer Glenn Heron supplies the tracks of trees for the Owen Brothers crew to harvest. This job is located in the Nikes Lee Town area of northern Hancock County. The Owen Brothers are doing a selective harvest, a more time consuming process on a vast longleaf pine plantation. They are doing a stand improvement thinning while removing some of the trees that are suitable to use to make valuable poles. You can't do it fast. I had, I've got another logger that was uh, working on me right now and they got 19 loads yesterday. That logger would never work out up here. It's just too high production. This crew here, Terry Owens crew, uh, they set their sights on about six loads a day, which is easy to keep up with as far as marking. Uh, they don't get in a hurry. I find him being so careful with the, with the place. I don't see any litter. It's just, uh, he's just done a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. And I uh, uh, can go into some of the places where he's thinned and it's very clear that the stands have been really improved by his work. Uh, I mark the trees that uh, are selected to come out and Ronnie Meadows will cut them in. You know, Hart, he'll cut the trees down. Jim Owen on the skitter, you know, slowly. Uh, time, you know, you take his time in, in getting the, the skidding trees out in a proper fashion without doing any residual damage to the, uh, the, the trees. And uh, of course, Terry on the lower does the, uh, the product separation. And we try to treat it like we own, I mean, if it was our property and we wanted to do it the way we'd want it done so we try to protect the trees and you know not skin them and and uh, what what really Ronnie our cutter man that's where it all starts and, and he's he's been doing it a long time and he, he he lays the trees where we can uh, where I can drag them without doing a lot of damage and then my brother's on the loader and he merchandises out and that's I mean we just try to make everything count and for the landowner and you know for, for Mr. Glenn and us too. Nowadays most of your timber is sold per ton. And so the logger needs to merchandise and try to make the landowner every dollar he can. And, uh, you know, a lot of loggers is high production and they not 
they don't take that time to really look at that small chipping saw tree. They might go ahead and put it in pulp wood, uh, you know, or, or the small log, and they put it in with chipping saw. Just little things like this, and you know, it would help the logger landowner relationship a little bit. In addition to seeing logger education improved in the area of merchandising, Terry Owen would like to see the general public have a greater appreciation for the value of wood and the fact that trees are a renewable resource. Owen Brothers Logging is known for respecting the land and promoting use of best management practices. The crew hosted a teacher's conservation workshop on a job site near Perkinston in recent years to explain their work inside a streamside management zone. Both Terry and Jim Ed Owen are fully trained in all modules of the Sustainable Forestry Initiative and follow those principles on every job. You know, we know to stay back from runs, try to keep debris out, and, and we're trying to help Mother Nature. And, you know, as long as we do that and we keep replanting and, and we select cut, only clear cut when it's, it's needed. And, you know, that's the only thing I can say. Our future generations will still have trees. Uh, you know, they might be in debt from the government over their head, but they'll still have trees. Terry Owen does wonder who will be harvesting the trees in the future. He thinks there needs to be an organized effort to educate young people about a career as a logger and why it's important to the environment and our economy. Logging in the 60s and 70s, he was proud to be a part of that. And, uh, you know, you could find folks that wanted to work and, and enjoyed it. Now, uh, young people don't have interest in this type of work. They, they want to sit behind a computer or, or some kind of degree job. What the answer is, I don't know, but the way it's looking 10 years from now, it won't be very few loggers. Nobody wants to get into it. I guess you have to have pine tar in your blood. So. Terry Owen is a passionate and articulate spokesman for the logging industry. He, along with his brother, Jim Ed, truck driver Tim Tanner, and cutter operator Ronnie Meadows are a great example of teamwork and professionalism. The, the care and the job that they do um, is, is outstanding. Uh, and me being in the business as well, you can't say enough for a logger that, that, that takes care of each and every tract as if it was their own and has the objectives and goals in mind that a landowner would have and it's just a valuable, valuable asset to have in a logger. Their crew has been together for a long period of time. They, they work together really well. Uh, they don't do anything unless they can do it safely. Uh, they uh, very very good about what uh, uh, meeting the landowner's objectives. Uh, in fact, a lot of the state uh, tree farmers of the year have specified them to do logging work for them. Owen Brothers Logging makes a positive contribution to the forest industry in the state every day and has now for over 11 years. The crew also does its work in an extremely safe manner. There has not been one recorded lost time accident since Owen Brothers was formed in 1998. From Hancock County, Mississippi, I'm Layton Spann reporting. And you can watch this feature story on Owen Brothers Logging at our Farm Week website or on the Facebook page or YouTube channel. That website address is farmweek.msucares.com and we're also available, as we've told you, at twitter.com slash farmweek. An artist that safety record still holds here in 2014. I talked to that's uh, Terry 16, Owen. That's 16 years. That's right. Now. That's right. Extremely safe, and uh, the crew you saw still intact. Same members of the crew. They do have a busy summer ahead. Starting in May, they're going to be working on about a 14,000 acre track south of Columbia, doing some select thinning and clear cut work. And that was a beautiful track they were on that day. And one thing, a little sidebar on this story: Terry Owen, when he was young. Dizzy Dean, the famous St. Louis Cardinals baseball player who retired to, Wig to the Wiggins area, was his little league coach. <laughs> Another story in itself.